Hey guys, we are from Breaking Code and for today the problem that we have is printing the reverse of a linked list. This problem can be found in the linked list domain of hacker rank and is also found when you start learning linked list. We all know what a linked list is. A linked list is a linear data structure in which your data is stored in the form of a node and every node has two things, two basic things like it has the data and it also has a node. So let's take an example of a linked list. So Suppose we have four numbers, one, two, three, and four. So uh, we take four nodes and we store the numbers in the nodes. And then every node is has a pointer which points to the next node. And then the last node points to null. So uh, this is a linked list and what we have to do is we have to print the linked list in the reverse order. So as we can see here, uh, there's no uh, there's no pointer connecting this node to this node. Uh, given that it's a singly linked list and there is no pointer connecting this, we cannot go from this node directly to this node. So uh, there may be various solutions, inclu including using an array to store all the elements in the array and then printing the reverse of the array. But then where the, where's the fun in that? What happens when you take an external array to store this is it takes extra memory and you obviously have to save more memory. So what I challenge you guys to do is try this without taking an external array and taking any memory other than this. Go on, pause this video and try doing that without taking any more memory. Hope you guys have tried that and if you didn't get it, let's go through it. Uh, what we do is we use a technique called recursion that you may have heard before uh, it's a pretty good technique and what it does it it calls a function through the function itself and it has a breaking condition to break out of the loop so uh, let's go on let's let me write the function So let me explain how this function works. Uh, it takes a node as a node as an argument. Node is a pointer pointing to the to a node, and uh, obviously the node has a data and a next pointer pointing to the next node. So uh, in the beginning, the node is pointing to this node that has one. So let's name it node one. So and we check if node uh, node arrow next is no is equal to null or not. So here we see that node arrow next is not equal to null. So we go in and we recur, we make a recursive call to the same function, and we give the uh, the next uh, the next pointer of that node as the argument to the to the function. So uh, this continues till it reaches the last node, and then when the last node is uh, when the when the next of the last node is pointing to pointing towards null. This this if condition is not executed and the last node is printed and then uh, the uh, it comes out of the recursive function and it comes back. So I'll show you how this function actually works. Uh, so let's name these nodes one two three and four. So suppose in the beginning we call the first node. So what it does is it checks if the next node is if the next of the first node is null or not and if it's not null it calls the second node function two. so function of 2 is called here and here we go into the function of 2 and what happens in function of 2 is we check if the next of the second node is null or not which is not null, but it points to the third node. So we call the third node. Now again, we check if the next of the third node is null or not, which is not the case here. So we call the fourth node. So what we see here is 
the next of the fourth node is equal to null so we don't execute the if condition and we execute the printf condition and we print the data in the fourth node now as this function is completed it goes back to the function that actually called it so here it comes back here and then it executes the remaining of this function that is print the data in 3 now this function ends too and then it goes to the function that actually called it so this comes here and it executes the remaining of this function so we print 2 here this ends this function and we go into the function that called it and execute the remaining of this function and we print 1 here so accordingly what happened is first we print this so 4 is printed at first then we print this then hence 3 is printed then we print 2 and then we print 1 so this is how you use recursion to print the reverse of a given linked list uh, so here we see that we use this awesome technique called recursion to solve a simple problem but it couldn't have been solved without this this is also a reminder for you that we are upping the level of our problems and uh, we have we will bring more problems using more advanced techniques like like graphs and dynamic programming thank you for uh, thank you for watching our video we'll be making more videos if you like this video please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel if you guys have any problem or if there's a problem you cannot solve if, or there's a part of the problem that you want help on please leave the link or the part of the problem in the comment section we will definitely help you so that's it for today we'll see you in the next video thank you